Hello. Can you briefly introduce yourself? Yeah, it's um, I'm Han Lichteringen, and um, uh, uh, at U UNESCO IHG I'm professor of ports and waterways since uh, three years. Um, I have a background in uh, that subject, ports and waterways, having worked in it for most of my life. And uh, during the past uh, 15 years, um, uh, also at uh, University of Delft. Uh, but when I retired there, I decided to uh, continue my guest lectures at IHE um, uh, into a, um, a full professorship. And uh, that's what I'm doing at the moment. And Professor Han, Hans is a really a, a committed person to try to update all the alumni from his branch, and he has started with a project last year. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I, um, uh, I consider the alumni network of uh, UNESCO IHE as a, a unique um, uh, possibility to, uh, to keep contact between the institute and its former students. Um, and uh, what I started last year was to, um, um, in addition to the uh, general newsletter to the alumni, um, to uh, send a newsletter uh, every half year to the alumni in coastal engineering and ports development, our own branch. Um, of course, um, in the beginning we uh, were uh, we had quite some gaps in the email addresses, but that is gradually improving, and uh, at the moment uh, we reach most of the uh, former students. And um, we inform them on uh, uh, what's going on in the uh, in the core. Um, new students, uh, graduating students, the subjects on which they have been working. Um, we also get mails back from alumni on uh, with with interest in a particular subject. So in a way, it's an um, inter interactive operation whereby. Uh, we um, we really try to um, to to, uh, to improve the relationship with our alumni. And in that uh, branch, I always have a very committed persons because when Professor Ronald the here the here uh, before his retirement, he also made a fantastic book, and we have uh, started with that book. And we will really like to invite all alumni of the branch to get in touch with us and uh, to receive all the information you are saying, but also sometimes to be part of the gatherings that we are organizing when professors and staff members go abroad. Yeah. So what is the, the first action that they should do? Well, very important <clears throat> in this respect is that they inform us of any change of email address, because um, if uh, th that's changed and they don't read their former addresses anymore, then the contact is, is lost and it takes time um, to, uh, to, to recover that. So uh, our plea is to all the CBD alumni, but it also applies to uh, alumni from other branches, um, to update us, to send us uh, their new email address if they change. Um, one step further, if they still have contacts with um, colleagues um, who they met while they were here in Delft, uh, and they know uh, their email addresses, then please send them to us, uh, because in that way we can further improve um, uh, our communication and eliminate the gaps which we still have. In the coming uh, weeks we are going to send to all alumni again a nice invitation by email, and the, the request will be please forward it also to as much uh, colleagues uh, you have. And last but not least, I know for sure that your doors are open to receive information to include yeah. in the e-newsletter. 
so that uh, your alumni, the branch of your uh, alumni of your branch, can also share some information that are interesting in the regions with other alumni of your branch. Definitely, yeah, <clears throat> we um, uh, we are open. We like to receive uh, uh, questions also, uh, or uh, information on a change of position. Uh, uh, it helps us really to also cross connect alumni. Um, uh, for instance, uh, in when we sent this newsletter, we sent it to all the email addresses of a certain year. So those of you who have lost contact with your um, um, uh, with your co students. Uh, you, you, in that way, you find back these email addresses and you can re-establish the contact. There is something that you would like to add? Well, not really. I, um, um, I look forward to uh, uh, meeting also alumni, like I did um, a couple of weeks ago when I was for a mission in Ghana. Um, our um, uh, the present director of the port of Ghana is one of our alumni and uh, we met and uh, it was very pleasant to uh, uh, talk to each other after so many years. So it's, um, uh, it's a fantastic uh, um, resource uh, to, to have all these contacts. Thank you very much and hoping that all the ones who are listening to this collaborate with us so that to have a very strong group in of your branch of coastal engineering. Thank you very much.